The YTN welcomed you to the Kids World International Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Championships held at the Citizens Arena in Ontario, California. An outstanding event that showcased the top kids in the world of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. An incredible day of competition as Kids World offered a terrific platform for the youth of the sport to display their talent and drive to succeed. The man behind Kids World in this fantastic event is Mr. Rommel Dunbar. He provided us some terrific insight to the sport, the athletes, and the culture of jiu-jitsu. Rommel, what a great event. I mean, a bigger venue this year. It looks like a lot more people. Your thoughts about today's event and how things are going. Just great competition. I think it's a great. you got the best kids in the world here. Our goal is to bring jiu-jitsu to the forefront. They're the future. You know, us older guys, we're getting a little older and stuff, and the kids are, that's what we're here for. My goal is to put on a tournament real soon for education. Kids that come with a straight A's, we will compete for free. And so that's our goal for the future, so people understand that it's about education along with self-defense and building the confidence. I was watching you just a little bit ago cheer on, I think, one of your athletes. How hard is it for you to sit there and not want to get out there on the mat and move some arms and legs around? Well, for me, it's really hard because the parents, I train all the kids' classes myself. And for me not to be there to coach them, sometimes I feel it in my heart. But I, I build up the confidence, self-esteem, because in the real world, they're out there by themselves. So that's the reason why they understand that they got to take care of business when they're on the mat. I know that this is an art, it's a sport, but also, Rommel, it's a lifestyle. Can you talk about the lifestyle of jiu-jitsu? Well, the lifestyle of jiu-jitsu is about, I like to apply it like education. You know, you got elementary, junior high, high school, and that's, a, that's the growing. So we keep the first four years as elementary, all foundation, discipline, and respect. By the time they get into junior high, they're on their way. And even if they don't become world champions in, in jiu-jitsu, we want them to be world champions in life. That's our goal. What is your message to the parents? Because the parents play an integral role. Some of them we interviewed today, New Zealand, Australia, Canada, all over the world. What is your message to them and what they should know about this great sport, this great art? Well, jiu-jitsu is like a, a chess game. And I tell them if they don't understand chess, they should play chess. Because jiu-jitsu is about thinking. It's not so much about how strong you are, how big you are. It's a thinking man's game. So you want to try to set your opponent up 20, 15 moves ahead. So we try to make them really concentrate on the technique and the art form because it's about small, the small person against a big person. That's what jiu-jitsu really is. Your thoughts, and I know that you're so invested in this, but for the people that are seeing jiu-jitsu for the first time, can you break it down in, in a simple layman's term what jiu-jitsu is for the people that really don't know about it? Well, I mean, I think there's a lot of martial arts that wear a very similar uniform, but jiu-jitsu is really designed for the little guy really designed to build up their confidence and the self-esteem to move forward because the, the little guy in school is always the one that got pushed around the one that has all the books the one that has the backpack he seems to be the one that bothers so we like to to take those kids that don't have the confidence the self-esteem and build it up and then they're here there's some kids here that were scared to death four years ago now they're confident and they're ready to go one additional question for you a lot of female athletes out here and they are competing with their heart and their athletic skill, but also with a certain discipline that's really amazing. Some of the boys don't have some of that. Your, th your thoughts about the females competing in jiu-jitsu? Oh, the girls are the best. Well, you know, you're looking for the ages from four to about 11 years old. They're tougher than the boys. They, they mature a little faster. They understand. Because they're, they train with a lot of the boys, so they're always a little bit physically weaker. So they concentrate on their pure technique. And that's what we love about the girls. You ran an outstanding event, and you're running an outstanding event. Thanks for having us here. Any message you want to say to invite people next year? Well, my goal is that reach for those dreams. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't achieve it. Just push through, and if that's your dream, to become world champion inside the mat or outside, keep pushing and never let anybody tell you anything. Keep pushing forward. That mentality and approach is exactly why the Kids World International Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Championship is a premier event. Look for more coverage of this event right here on the YTN Martial Arts Channel. From Citizens Arena in Ontario, California, I'm Paul Higgins. Thanks for watching.